Hey guys, girls, Hugh Coscuela. In this quick video, we're gonna go over how to choose the right color for a crankbait. So color is actually one of the last things that I think about when I'm out on the water. First thing I wanna make sure I choose the right location. Last thing I really care about is exactly what color my lure is. To me, it's not that big of a difference, but it will help you catch more fish in some instances. There's three things that I'm gonna be thinking about when it comes to choosing a lure. One is gonna be water clarity and water color. The second is gonna be the conditions of the day. And the last thing is gonna be the bait fish that I'm trying to imitate. Let's start with water color and water visibility. Obviously in a lot cleaner water, fish are gonna be able to get a much better look at my lure. So I'm gonna to try to be as natural as I can. So I'm gonna be looking at images of the bait fish on the internet. I'm gonna be looking for them in the water to see exactly what color they are. And that's gonna allow me to match the hatch. So throw in something like this, very, very natural, very kind of subdued and dull colors is gonna be the best in the clearest water possible. They're gonna get a really good look at it. They don't wanna see all these sparkles. They don't want a really hard color. This is gonna be the most natural. As I start to get into a little bit of stained water, I'm gonna to go to a little bit harder color. You can see this is not translucent at all. It's a hard white. I'm gonna throw that in a little bit dingier water. I'm throwing that so these fish can see it a little bit easier. They can get a good silhouette of it. They know exactly where it is. This is gonna be a little bit easier for them to see in the dingier water. As I start getting into really, really dirty water, chocolate milk, a lot of times we have that in Texas where I'm at, we're gonna to start to throw some chartreuse. This is very, very dirty water stuff. This is gonna appear really, really well in that chocolate brown water. One thing that I like to do is I actually like to tie it on and I like to just swim it next to the boat and I like to see if I can see that color very easily. That's gonna make sure that I'm throwing the right crankbait. If I can see this color easily in this dingy water, I'm gonna be throwing it there. Instead of that translucent color, I wouldn't be able to see it at all in this dirty water that we've got here today. The next thing I'm gonna be thinking about is the conditions that I have for the day. Sunny or cloudy, and then if I have any wind going on. If it's sunny and windy, I'm gonna opt for something that has a little bit more flash. I'm not sure you can see it, but there's actually some reflective, reflective strips on here that are gonna really allow the sunlight to flash off of that. If you think about it, a shad or a bait fish or a minnow is gonna have really reflective scales. So if it's sunny, it's gonna kind of flash in the water. If you've ever seen a bait fit, ball bait fish in the water, you're gonna see a lot of flashes in there. That's gonna mimic this really, really well. On the cloudy days, you're not gonna get any of that sun reflecting off the bait fish like that. So that's when I start to go back towards more of the subdued colors ones that don't have a lot of flash. All I'm trying to do with my bait selection is try to choose the most natural lure possible to really mimic the bait fish that are in the water to catch more fish. The other thing that I'm gonna think about is the bait or the bait fish that I'm trying to imitate. Certain times of the year, I really, really like throwing a bluegill colored bait. They get around bluegill beds in the spawn and the post spawn, and bluegill can be a really, really, really good color. I'm not gonna go throw a shad bait when I feel like they're eating bluegill and I can hear bluegill popping on the surface. Other times of the year when you start seeing red in their throat and red on the lips of the bass is when I'm gonna be imitating a crawfish. I'm gonna start to use these yellows, these browns, and these hot, hot reds. They're eating crawfish in the wintertime and pre-spawn. And I can tell that by looking at the colors on their lips and throat. The last thing I'm gonna talk about is gonna be regional or seasonal colors. I have no idea why gold and black work so well sometimes of the year. In the wintertime on cloudy days, it works really, really well. Other times a chartreuse and blueback crankbait, even in clear water can work really well. So these aren't hard truths for what I'm talking about when I'm choosing the right color for crankbait. I don't need a hundred different colors. I need a couple. This is just some guidelines that I like to follow when I'm out on the water to make sure I'm trying to be as natural as I can to allow the fish to see it and that allow me to catch more fish out on the water.